Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Hearn and this channel is dedicated to coaching you into creating the most successful business and being happy doing it. In today's video, I want to talk to you about business resilience, what this means and how this can be impacting you, your sales, your clients and your impact online. The first thing I have to say on this topic is business isn't personal. And I know before you start, this is your baby, this is your business, it's what your dreams are built on. And I'm in that boat too. Of course, I adore my business, I adore my community. But what you have to do is detach from outcomes and detach from situations. The reason this is important is if you're attaching your self-worth to the value of a product, to the value of your services and people say no, we can take that rejection personally when actually it's about them. It's about their money mindset, their journey, where they're at at the moment and it's not about you. So when I say business isn't personal, it's not that you don't care about your business, it's not that your business doesn't matter, it's about the fact that you have to make sure that your self-worth and who you are as an individual and the value you place on you isn't reflected and attached to the value you place on your services. And therefore, if somebody says not right now, or it's not for me, or I just can't quite make it, it's about their journey, it's not about you. And this will really help with business resilience. You know, if, if someone leaves iPhone and goes to Samsung, Steve Jobs didn't used to sit there and think, oh my gosh, the business will fail. And this is how I think now. If someone doesn't fly with Virgin, Richard Branson isn't sitting there thinking, why haven't they chosen us? They are focused on creating the best business possible. And it isn't determined on their personal worth. It's based on business. So the first tip is about making sure that when you're valuing your products, you're pricing things, you're putting your numbers down and number crunching, this isn't based on your self-worth. And if you don't hit a certain launch target, you don't hit a certain number of sales, that doesn't mean that you aren't worthy. It doesn't mean that you aren't credible. And it definitely doesn't mean that you shouldn't be in this industry. So business resilience, tip number one, it isn't personal. Number two, being rejected is a good thing. When people unfollow you, when people say no, when people have their own opinions, that is what you want. In business and in our industry, especially if you are in the online space, you need and want people to have an opinion. You want people to either love what you're doing and react and respond and be there and love it or not want it. You don't want to be surrounded by warm, wishy-washy, uncertain people and tribe. You want your tribe to be absolutely obsessed with you, to love what you're doing, to connect with you, to vibe with you, and to really acknowledge your worth. You want your community to know and respect you and you want your community to value what you're doing and value the input that you are giving them and the support that you are giving them. And if that's not happening, then it isn't what you want to be creating. You want people to have that strong sense of opinion. You want people to connect and be attracted and want to be aligned to your business. So rejection is a good thing because it means that you have less of the people that are uncertain, taking up the energy in the space of the people that are freaking obsessed with you. So, rejection is a good thing. It's, it, it's really what we all need. It's refreshing, it keeps us grounded, and it also makes sure that if people are saying no, that gives you resilience. How are you going to become resilient if nothing ever happens to challenge you? How is that going to happen? So if you want to have resilience, you want to have this tenacity, this oh, that, you want that, fire in your belly. We need the challenges and we need the challenges to help us recognize exactly why we're doing this and ignite that passion in ourselves. So focus on that. Focus on the fact that this is about you, your growth and your resilience. It's not about the person that unfollows or says no or whatever it might be. That just pushes you closer to exactly where you want to be. So if you want to build biz business resilience, it's time to love that rejection and appreciate the rejection and welcome the rejection because it means that you are growing. If you want to be truly resilient as a business owner, entrepreneur and a CEO of your empire, then you have to recognize that being bold is your superpower. If you want to be really resilient in this industry, you need to recognize that showing up and being yourself is the best asset for your business. If you are coming in at five out of 10, you're giving it a bit of this 
and a bit of that and I might do this and I might do that and you're not really sure and you're not holding yourself to your truest power, you aren't putting that on your videos, your lives, your posts, and it's what you're telling other people to do, that needs to change. Being resilient in business is about showing up wholeheartedly in full force, ready for whatever's to come. If it means a post doesn't get a million likes, if it means a video doesn't trend, if it means that you lose followers, all of that comes with the business. Being resilient is about being bold, standing in your truth and standing in your power and whatever the result, you are ready and prepared for it. That's your resilience. That is where the magic happens. When you are bold enough to stand out, bold enough to be seen, bold enough to be brave and share what you want to be sharing, not what you think everyone else needs to hear. Share what sets you on fire and makes you excited and brings out the best in you. If you want to be resilient as an entrepreneur, you need to step out, be seen and be bold. Finally, bouncing back is what sells. Bouncing back is what sells. So business resilience, this is also something you need to be sharing with your community. So a few weeks ago, I had a business blip, shall we say, and it's probably one of the first ones I've had in my three years as an entrepreneur in this business, well, nearly three years. And I think what's really important is making sure that you recognize sharing these business blips is exactly what sells. People need to know that you're resilient and they need to know why. So if you do have a challenge, you have a bad day, Day, something happens sharing that with your community is the best thing that you can do because it shows them that you are real you're a human being so for me when I shared and I showed up and I said look you know what I'm having a really tough time I am having a bit of a bad day things have caught me off guard and it's just got me thinking you know these are the thoughts I've had but this is what I'm going to do now this is what I'm going to do now this is how I'm gonna bounce back this is what I'm going to focus on that is my business resilience, but I'm sharing it with you. But you want to know that. You want to know how I'm bouncing back, but you also want to know that I'm not a superhuman and a robot and I have these days too. Your setbacks or challenges or downfalls or blips, that's what sells. And when you share that journey and you share how you are going to overcome it and how you are going to be the best that you can be, that, that is the secret sauce. Business resilience is not about you always having everything to Together. It's about you showing up, being seen, being bold, understanding that this isn't all about you and it's about them, detaching your self-worth from the value of a product and knowing that you're still going to show up tomorrow. You're going to get up, you're going to try again, you're going to do videos, you're going to do stories, you're going to keep going. You're going to keep doing this whether people look at it every single day or they don't or they come back or they follow or they unfollow or whatever happens. You are going to be showing up to create the best that you can in your business and to become the most resilient entrepreneur, that is the focus. The fact that you are making sure you are doing everything in your power to show up, to be consistent, to be seen and to be bold. Not that you are showing up, checking analytics, leaving for a few days because no one liked it, coming back, oh, being upset because someone unfollowed, so then you just think, should I be doing the business at all? Someone says no to your coaching, so you stop offering coaching, you change the price, you lower the price. No. Business resilience, standing in your truth, being bold, doing it anyway doing it anyway. Someone will always have an opinion somewhere, but you are going to be resilient enough that this is your business, your empire, your dreams, your future, and you are carving that out right now. So being business resilient, I really hope this has given you some food for thought. I'd love to hear which one of these tips is the one that you are going to be focusing on. And I also just really want you to recognize that you're in this for the long haul. This is your destiny. I can't wait to see you in the next video.